Episode 11 of Ergo Proxy is titled, In the White Darkness, Anemnesis. Anemnesis, according to Platonic philosophy, refers to remembering occurrences from a previous existence, advising man to rediscover the knowledge from within himself, much like how Vincent is trying to remember how he is Ergo Proxy, the agent of death. The episode continually references the importance of looking within ourselves for answers. While the idea of looking within is part of the Neoplatonic or Gnostic tradition, the quote of looking within as opposed to without could be an homage to Carl Jung's quote, who looks outside dreams, who looks inside awakes. Also, a fun fact, the name of the bookstore in the episode is titled City Lights Bookstore, which is an actual bookstore in San Francisco, most notable for publishing Allen Ginsberg's controversial poem, Howl. The show cites American journalist Jim Bishop, stating, The future is an opaque mirror. Anyone who tries to look into it sees nothing but the dim outlines of an old and worried face. The episode also makes a nod to Maxwell Maltz's Psycho-Cybernetics, when referencing the theater of the mind, which is a place where individuals can go to reflect upon and improve their own self-image, much like how Vincent is rediscovering his own self by poring over the manuscripts inside the bookshop, all of which feature him as the center subject. The episode cites Jean-Jacques Rousseau's essay on the origin of language, a work in which Jacques Derrida criticized in his work of grammatology. Derrida in the show is also one of the main members of The Collective, a group of stone statues in Ramdo, along with Lacan, Berkeley, and Husserl, all famous and well-known philosophers. Pino, the auto rave that accompanies Vincent, is infected with the Cogito virus. The virus's name stems from Descartes' infamous statement, Cogito ergo sum, I think, therefore I am. Much like the quote implies, the virus gives the robots a sense of self-awareness of their own being. The ergo part of Descartes' quote also was used in the titling of the anime series itself. The episode references the Platonic idea of the Logos, meaning the word. In the Neoplatonic and Gnostic tradition, the Logos is seen as the inner relationship between the soul, the nous, or intellect potentially known as the demiurge, who is the creator of reality in the image of God, and the one, the one being the highest of all, regarded as the unknowable source of all things, by which one returns back to. The episode talks of words containing internal contradictions, using the words bios and anemnesis as examples. The idea of words containing internal contradictions, however, is the basis of Jacques Derrida's own philosophy of deconstructionism. Derrida uses the word pharmacon, which is taken from Plato's Phaedrus, noting the word can mean both poison and cure, to convey this concept. This also relates to the Gnostic idea of the monad as opposed to the dyad, or the unification of dualisms, being the central theme of Vincent, accepting the proxy aspect of himself. When Vincent gets overly stressed, the bookshop owner cites Cliver's Law, noting that an animal's metabolic rate scales to three-fourths the power of the animal's mass. This is related to the metabolic theory of ecology, which relates metabolic rates to growth rates and aging.